right so welcome back students to one more series of inorganic chemistry so till now we have seen the inorganic series too then after that i've taught you the differences between s block and p block the, the different properties like melting point boiling point electronegativity affinity positivity ionization enthalpy all these and for after that we have gone into equation uh, this in topic that is differences between d block and f block that also was done then i taught you the concept called what is atomic radii right in that we have also studied Difference like different types like covalent radii, metallic radii, ionic radii, Van der Waals for this and all these concepts have been covered in that. Now I'll be doing questions based on these concepts that is the size, the, the atomic radii. So I'll be picking up different different questions which are very important in terms of inorganic chemistry. So as I said, I'll be picking up different reasoning questions that would be the main would be from JD Lee. JD Lee would be the basic source after that in from different different sources also. Right. So uh, let us start with the first question and let us also see how to write the answer right what is the question i'll go from the basic questions just let let us make it more and more uh, like we'll pick up more and more complicated questions what does this say why does lithium or sodium have larger atomic radii compared to fluorine and chlorine okay simple question right first of all when such questions are given you either they may give you a question like this or they may give you a trend like this or they may give you values like this it may be any way but uh, the way of answering should be the same it's right what what did i ask us to compare they said lithium and sodium okay lithium slash sodium have larger atomic radii they said right atomic radii and compared to which one fluorine and chlorine <clears throat> what is when you see this element what does it mean we are going from left to right in the periodic table this is your left to right in the periodic table that is in the period and there is one more data information given here in this case lithium sodium potassium what is that data that data is giving us or let us write that concept here here. right that is this is the first data this is the second data here they have given us value for lithium plus sodium plus and potassium plus what are we going we are going from top to bottom in a group right now let us justify when i have in a period I, I obviously it is obvious understood isn't it when such questions when we move from left to right as i said the electron keeps adding to the same patient always when it adds to the same patient what happens there is effective nuclear charge acting on the outer electron obviously the size will be less but how to write it in the exam that's important now lithium and sodium let us write the configuration and see so when it comes to lithium atomic number 3 11 this is 9 and this is 17 isn't it let's write now this is left to right this is also left to right so it is 1s2 2s1 done sodium 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s1 fluorine 1s2 2s2 2p5 uh, done this is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p5 done now so what are you observing yes here the electron always adds into the inner p the, uh, the p shell only but here what is happening it's expanding isn't it this is 1s this is 2s here in this case 1s 2s 2p 3s so there is expansion of the orbitals but here there is filling of electrons in the same p shell you, you should write that thing that is the reason so how to write in the reason from left to right in a period left to right means it's nothing but period so write down electron adds to the same p subshell hence hence what happens <coughs> lithium and sodium larger size fluorine and chlorine smaller size hence fluorine and chlorine have smaller radii this is over exact prompt answer perfect answer to that particular question now i need to answer this question in a group what is happening when i take lithium atomic number three sodium 11 19 yes now let's see one is two two is one but here it is a lost one electron so i'm writing one is two 11 one is two two is two 2p6 3s1 it has lost one electron so take out this potassium one is two two is two two p6 three is two 3p6 okay 6 7 8 1 2 2 2 2p6 3s2 3p6 okay 
right now next comes uh, s electron fine how much do you get 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 okay 3 is 2 3 is 4 p right so this is almost 18 and 4 is 1 now here it has lost one electron so i need to take out this electron now what happens what are you observing this is one s when you are going down the group 2p is getting added when you're going down the group 3s and 3p are also getting added is it not expanding in number of orbits that is what is your answer so in the period electron adds to the same subshell. next in a group what happens atomic number increases number of shells increases then what happens automatically in the atomic number increases number of shells increases as the name suggests you need to end your answer with atomic radii also increases that's it so whenever you're writing inorganic reasoning questions remember don't try to make it bigger lines don't try to make five six or eight lines no only keyword is whatever question is given to you try to put in, put give the electronic configuration and immediately start giving the reason in a box that's enough half mark for this half mark for this again this one i've taken the example given to us i have written the electronic configuration i have written the reason so let's meet again with the next question which is a combination of four to five books together 